I paint self-portraits because I am so often alone, because I am the person I know best. Of the 143 works painted by Mexican artist Frida Kahlo before her death in 1954, at the age of 47, 55 were self-portraits. And while today Kahlo's self-portraits are highly coveted and responsible for her becoming arguably the most recognizable face in art history, the genesis of the works tells a far more personal story. In 1925, at 18 years of age, her school bus was hit by a streetcar, breaking Carlo's back, ribs, collarbone, shoulder, and leg. A metal rail puncturing her womb, abdomen, and pelvis. While in hospital, she began to paint. When her parents rigged a mirror above her bed, Carlo came face to face with the subject that would define her career and allow her to express the pain that would define her life. To quote Carlo, I knew the battlefield of suffering was reflected in my eyes. Ever since then, I started looking straight into the lens, without winking, without smiling, determined to prove I would be a good warrior until the end. The unflinching, unsmiling, three-quarter profile that would become her hallmark served as both an expression of stoicism, but also an unobtrusive icon which could be adorned with allegorical imagery. Of her 55 self-portraits, eight contain monkeys, with Carlo stating that the monkeys symbolize the children she was unable to conceive. Self-portrait with a monkey, 1940, was acquired by Madonna in the 1990s and is one of reportedly five Carlo paintings owned by the pop music icon. For decades, Madonna has cited Carlo as a primary influence, an inspiration in her career with some drawing parallels, both personally and professionally, as global artistic icons who challenged the patriarchal structure, recognizable now and forever by just their first name. Mm -hmm.